Hey Rod Travelers, this is the latest video. This one is about something called a user agent switcher. I have an old video about a user agent switcher, which is, I believe it's called a chrispetterick.com. That was the site that I was using, and that was my old user agent switcher. So what actually this does is this sends information to a website or a server telling it, I mean the user agent switcher, telling it what kind of a browser that you are or what kind of a device that you are. So normally if you don't have this user agent switcher and you're using a laptop computer with for example Windows and you're using Firefox which is my preferred browser Firefox is going to send a message to the server telling it that I'm Firefox and it gives a lot more information than that but it's going to say I'm Firefox and I'm running on a Windows I'm running on a Windows laptop and that's what type of data I want you to send me so in other words now the server is going to say okay I need to send them the data that fits on the screen of a Firefox browser with Windows whatever on a laptop. So what you can actually do is uh, tell your browser to not send that information. Instead send a different part, a different kind of information. Send an information that says I'm on a Firefox browser but I'm on I'm on an iOS operating system which is the operating system for the iPhone or you could say I'm on an Android operating system which is the operating system for the Android phones and then the server is going to send different different differently formatted data and it's going to think that you're on a different kind of device so anyways that's a nutshell of what this does so here is the get add-ons page for Firefox and this is Firefox 57 so if you're trying to find the user agent switcher all you got to do is to go to this get add-ons page which you can find over here on the the menu for Firefox and click down to here where it says add-ons and then click on this get add-ons selection on the top here and then you can search now oh, these are all actually add-ons see more add-ons and you could actually just search for them and when you search for them you can search for user agent switcher but I already downloaded it so I'm going to go to my extensions and here's the user agent switcher that I was talking about it says quickly and easily switch between popular user agent strings. So once you install it, it'll be installed over here. And it also it gets installed right up here. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. So the first one is iPhone. Second one is Android. And then you have the Windows Phone, Samsung Tizen OS, and Nokia Symbian, and Mozilla Firefox OS. And these have got also desktop browsers, operating systems, and other stuff. But I mostly use it for the first two. I'll use it either for the iPhone or for the Android. So certain websites think that I'm actually on a phone and not on a laptop computer. So this is very useful, especially for things like Bing. If you do the Bing rewards and do the searches every day, you're supposed to do a certain number of searches with a laptop, and then you're supposed to do a certain number of searches with a phone, and instead of having to swap between your phone and your laptop and back and forth, well, all you got to do once you finish your searches is switch to a different user agent, and then continue your searches, and then go back. In order to get rid of the user agent, let's say I switch to the, the Apple iOS. In order to get rid of it, now you can see the Apple shows up on this corner. 
in order to get rid of it, all you got to do is click on this little check mark and it goes back to the default. So hopefully this is something that's going to be useful for you. And I'll see you soon on another flight.